The initialization and quality control of CM200 Lite from a PC will be available by connecting the unit to a PC with the data management software installed. Please refer to the operator's manual for information regarding the installation of the data management software. We will now explain the initialization and quality control of the CM200 Lite produced by Huruno Electric Company and the data management software. Turn on the CM200 Lite before starting the data management software. Start the data management software and then log in. The prompt for initialization is displayed on the screen. Following the on-screen prompts, turn the handle clockwise until a click sound is made. The standoff is unlocked and begins to move automatically. While the standoff is moving, release the handle and wait until the standoffs meet. Once the standoffs meet, turn the handle counterclockwise until the movable standoffs are fully separated and a click sound is made. Once the initialization is completed, the prompt for quality control is displayed on the screen. Next, we will explain the quality control measurement. In order to ascertain whether the device is maintaining the desired quality levels, the quality control measurement must be conducted before daily use. Once the initialization is completed, the prompt for quality control measurement is displayed on the screen. Click the Start button to begin the quality control measurement. After clicking the Start button, the QC Measurement Step 1 screen is displayed. If there is any acoustic gel on the standoff, it may cause errors. Check the standoffs and wipe them clean if necessary. Next, turn the handle clockwise until a click sound is made. The standoff is unlocked and begins to move automatically. While the standoff is moving, release the handle and wait until the standoffs meet. Once the standoffs meet, wait approximately 10 seconds and then click the Start button. The QC Measurement Step 2 screen is displayed. Turn the handle counterclockwise until the movable standoffs are fully separated and a click sound is made. Once the standoff is locked, apply a small amount of acoustic gel to one standoff. Turn the handle clockwise until a click sound is made. The standoff is unlocked and begins to move automatically. While the standoff is moving, release the handle and wait until the standoffs meet. Once the standoffs meet, wait approximately 10 seconds and then click the Start button. Once the quality control measurement is completed, the QC Measurement Step 3 screen is displayed. Click Save button to save the measurement data. This completes the quality control measurement. Please refer to the manual for troubleshooting errors or when operation does not proceed as expected. By connecting the CM200 Lite to a PC with the data management software installed, measurement data filing, color printouts of measurement results or other functions are made available. Please refer to the Software Operator's Manual for information regarding the installation of the data management software. We will now explain the measurement procedure with the CM200 Lite produced by Huruno Electric Company and the data management software. 
Prior to a measurement, input of the patient's personal data will be required. Firstly, click New button, then enter the patient's data in this screen. Click OK button to save the patient's data and return to the main screen. Select the patient using either the ID or name pull-down menu. Then click Measure button to display the measure screen. For information regarding a new data entry, please refer to the operator's manual. Select the foot to be measured by placing a check mark in right or left. Select whether or not to print with the CM200 light printer by placing a check mark in on or off. This completes the pre-measurement data input. We will now proceed to preparation for the actual measurement. Place the patient's foot on the foot plate. Set the patient's heel to the rear of the foot plate and measure the foot size in 1 cm increments. After measuring the foot size, take the patient's foot off the foot plate temporarily. Turn the foot size dial to adjust to the patient's foot size. Sizes are displayed in five steps on the screen. Select the correct size for the patient's foot size. Wipe both sides of the patient's heel with alcohol swabs. The aim is to remove skin surface oils and allow clear ultrasound transmission. Please wipe the area carefully. However, only use antiseptic solutions to clean the standoffs and foot plate, as alcohol may damage them. Apply an ample amount of acoustic gel to the standoffs, taking care not to drop the gel onto the unit. Seat the patient, then place their foot on the foot plate. When placing the foot, be sure to press the inside of patient heel against the fixed standoff. Place the foot pointing straight on the foot plate. At this time, please be sure that the patient's lower leg and the foot plate are at a right angle. Turn the handle clockwise until a click sound is made. The standoff is unlocked and begins to move automatically. While the standoff is moving, release the handle and wait until the standoff holds the patient heel tightly. To begin the measurement, click Measure button. Confirm the patient's details and click the Measure button. The measurement process takes approximately 3 to 10 seconds to complete. When the measurement is completed, this screen is displayed. If printing was set to on, the result will be printed out. If printing was set to off, the Print and Save buttons are now active. Clicking Print button will print measurement result on the printer connected to the PC. Click Save button to save the results in the software database. This completes the measurement procedure. After taking a measurement, wipe the acoustic gel from the standoffs. If any gel has dropped onto the unit, carefully wipe it clean.